Astrophotography is an experience unlike any other, capturing the night sky and unveiling the beauty of the stars. Trekking to the right spot gives you the thrill of a lifetime. However, to capture these beauties, you need a lens that is wide, fast, and with the capability of capturing those shimmering details. There's also the issue of how much the lens weighs. So which lens should you grab for your nighttime adventures? Stick around and find out the best lenses for astrophotography. Number one. Starting off, we have the Sigma 14mm f1.8 DG HSH Art, and it's a heavyweight champion. As the name suggests, it's lens with a fixed focal length of 14 millimeters, giving it the capability of shooting extra wide. Even with the ultra wide field of view, shooting with this lens will result in ultra sharp images. Also, it comes with autofocus capabilities powered by the hypersonic motor. Combine the ultra sharp images with the autofocus and your stars appear crystal clear and sharp. Focusing on an aperture ranging from f1.8 to f1.6, you'll find less coma if you stop it down by a minimum, usually found in the edge of the frame. In addition, the lens deals distortions very well with controlled chromatic aberration when shooting ultra-wide. Besides coma and chromatic aberration, overall image distortion is handled quite well, a feature not found in many ultra-wide lenses. The cons for this lens is its weight, as it weighs around 1,170 grams, making it somewhat heavy to go on expeditions with. The other notable con is that this lens doesn't come with any filter threat. So if you are planning to use it with a filter, you will need to invest in an adapter. Overall, the Sigma 14mm f1.8 DG HSHR is one of the best ultra-wide lenses you can find for astrophotography. The exceptionally sharp images, the autofocus system, and the handling of low distortions make it best for capturing wide-ranging vistas and nightscapes if you don't mind the heft. Number Coming up next is the Nikon 24mm f1.4, a lens that's designed for astrophotography. It comes with a focal length of 24mm, wide enough to capture astral beauties in all its glory. Besides the wide focal length, it's a fast lens empowering you to shoot at f1.4. Also, thanks to wider aperture, your astral images will retain their geometry and give you a true sense of scale. When it comes to tackling optical distortions, this lens has techs in place to tackle those. It packs ED glass elements, resulting in the impressive sharp images you get and leaving no space for distortion. Furthermore, these glass elements allow it to deliver phenomenal performance in a low light environment. The glasses are also equipped with zero coating nano crystal coat. It helps elevate any issue of ghosting, flaring, and deals with chromatic aberration. The ultra-wide view, the resilience toward optical distortions, and the wide aperture means that your astrophotography will be vibrant and true to life. The lens implements elements to protect the magnification ratio too. Overall, if you're sporting a Nikon camera, the Nikon 24mm f1.4 is the best 24mm lens you can grab. Next on the list is the Tamron 15-30mm f2.8, a compact, lightweight lens capable of capturing celestial images in expansive details. In terms of focal length, you can shoot from 15mm to 30mm, making it wide enough for astrophotography and everyday use. While it comes with an aperture range of f2.8 to 22, the 2.8 allows enough light to capture those glittery details. Since it's letting in more light, besides bright images, you're also getting very little noise and vibrant colors. This is another lens that was made especially for astrophotography. The wide focal length and aperture means that you will seamlessly capture bright nebulas with all the details. The lens also puts in place patented technology that helps keep distortions to a minimum, decreasing the chances of that happening to 95%. When taking zoomed shots of the astral elements, these low distortion features will help keep the noise down. The other area where the lens excels is weight. It's lightweight at 1,110 grams and comes in compact form factor. The smaller form factor will make it easier to carry it around. The overall construction of the lens is pretty solid. 
In terms of using a filter, it does not have a front mouth, but instead supports gel filters in the rear. Overall, if you're looking for something relatively small and lightweight, yet giving you the power to take vibrant shots of the vast nebula, then the Tamron 15-30mm f2.8 is a great pickup. This is the Voigtlander Nocton 10.5mm f.95, an ultra-fast prime lens made especially for low-light shooting. If you're sporting a micro four-thirds camera, this lens is for you. The Nocton 10.5mm was made especially for that system and is the best ultra-fast prime lens available. Besides that, the f.95 aperture means that you will be letting in more light. Thus, the celestial objects in your shot will be bright, vibrant, and sharp. Aperture at that range also means excellent shallow depth of field, making it handy in everyday use. However, compared to the other lenses, this isn't the widest. For example, the 10.5mm lens converts to 21mm when used on a 35mm camera. Also, the lens includes selective aperture control. With that, you can control the exposure more smoothly. The lens excels at sharpness. With the aperture wide open, you're getting the best sharpness at the dead center. However, sharpness on the edges might suffer a bit. Bring the aperture down a little bit, and you're getting the sharpness throughout the screen and the best images imaginable. Moreover, if you're shooting at f1.4, the lens deal with any chromatic aberrations found between that and the widest aperture. As for the size, this might be one of the most lightweight lenses you can carry for astrophotography, coming at just 586 grams. Besides that, the lens comes with a sturdy and compact build. Not only that, despite being an ultra-fast lens, it's reasonably priced. Overall, if you don't mind the 21mm focal length and the lack of autofocus, then the Voigtlander Nocton 10.5mm f.95 is a fantastic lens. Last but not least, we have the Sony FE 14mm f1.8 GM, Premium G Master, coming in hot with a compact body and stellar resolution. Sony's G Master lenses are renowned for their astounding performance, and the 14mm f1.8 is no different. First, let's start with the focal length. It comes with a fixed length at 14 millimeters, meaning you're getting ultra-wide performance when shooting for the moon. In fact, this is the widest lens you can get from Sony. Besides the ultra-wide performance, with f1.8, you're letting in plenty of light to grab those shiny details and dreamy colors. This silky, smooth performance of the aperture ring will help you set it right every time. The fun part doesn't stop there. It comes with in-body stabilization, Pair that with a Sony camera and you'll get high-res, shake-free images. Also, the compact design makes it extremely lightweight, coming in at 460 grams, making it the most lightweight ultra-wide lens available. Pairing well, if you're using a Sony camera, the Sony FE 14mm f1.8 GM Premium G Master is the best lens you can get for astrophotography. The ultra-wide lens, the f1.8 aperture, the autofocus system mixed with its compact and lightweight design makes it the perfect astrophotography companion. That was all about the best lenses for astrophotography just for you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.